Hi, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a book called Proofs by Jay Cummings. So this is, of course, as the name indicates, is a book on mathematical proofs. And this book is a soft cover. So I don't have a lot of soft covers, but I must say that I'm not a fan. Uh, Jay did mention he wanted to make this book as affordable as possible. So uh, as many people could learn math as possible uh, affordably and he has succeeded this book is only about 25 new zealand dollars i don't know what that converts to in other currencies but it is definitely a cheap book um, you can get this brand new really cheap on amazon um, so yes i have read this entire book and i must say this is probably one of the best books i have ever read of course there are lots of great books on mathematics but this one just stands out to me for so many different reasons, and I'll get into those in just a moment. But I do have some complaints about this book, most notably the printing. So the pages on this book are pretty good. I mean, the paper quality, it's okay. There's nothing too bad about it. There's nothing really wrong with it. And of course, as you can see, it is printed in LaTeX. So it's used for the LaTeX typeset, which is excellent. Most books, if not all books, definitely should be printed in LaTeX. It's a beautiful typeset. Um, but I will give you an example. That So this is a really awesome thing because lots of cheaper books typically do not have that LaTeX typeset. I'll give you a couple of examples of cheaper books that are not printed in LaTeX. So this one right here is a very popular book on Amazon. It's on PDEs. And this book's okay. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm not... I, I think it's okay. But um, as you can see, it's definitely not printed in LaTeX. As you can see, the equation formatting is doesn't look very good. Um, I mean, it's not as bad as some of the others, but it's still not it's still not that great. But it's a cheap book. And then secondly, we have Paul Dirac's Principles of Quantum Mechanics. So this is a very cheap hardcover. I picked this up for like only about like fifty dollars New Zealand dollars. So it is a really cheap book, um, as we can see. The printing, the, the equation formatting on here is awful. It's really, really small. It's hard to read. So the fact that this is printed in LaTeX is actually a really good achievement, um, the fact that he managed to do that. But physically speaking, this book is quite hefty. It's a big book. I don't know exactly know how much it weighs, but it definitely is a big book. I mean, the pages are quite thick. This book in total is about 500 pages. So, I mean, fairly standard. But it, it's, it's definitely a big book. It's very hefty. And so much so that the binding of this book really, really struggles. And that's where I have the complaint is the fact that to hold a book of this weight using such cheap binding just doesn't work. I just, I mean, the book is still physically bound together, as you can see, but it's really struggling. I mean, look at this binding. It's just this tiny little bit of glue. And as you can even see, a lot of the pages, or some of the pages, or even falling out. Like, if I open the book, see, literally look, the pages are just coming away at the binding, um, which is really annoying. If you actually want to re reread this book or go through it again, it makes it very difficult. As you can see, at some places, the pages have even literally just come out. So, yeah, very annoying. And yeah, I, I would, I understand that he wants to keep the book cheap. But, I mean, surely he could improve this binding. I mean, it's just, or offer a hardcover option. Because having a book of this size in such cheap binding, just to me, just doesn't seem like a good idea. It just, it just doesn't hold together, as you can see. Especially if you're the type of person to sit with your book and, say, have your arm on it like this. Not a good idea. <laughs> if you do that, you'll end up with, with this, as you can see the... The pages are literally just coming away from the binding. So other than that, let's get into the book. Okay, it's a table of content. So first up, we've got intuitive proofs. Now, I absolutely love the way Cummings has uh, late, has uh, set out this book. It's incredible. There's so many cool things he does. Um, so intuitive proofs talks about the pigeonhole principle. But yeah, just really, this book is very pedagogical. He has an incredible style that is totally different from most um, traditional mathematical 
textbooks. A lot of his stuff is very conversational. It's really easy to follow. Honestly, if you've just got a little bit of calculus and just a math background, you can pick this book up and learn how to write proofs. So yeah, really cool. He has this chessboard problem and then he talks about the pigeonhole principle. Really awesome chapter. Um, and in between each chapter, he has an introduction to like some field of mathematics. So here we've got Ramsey theory, uh, number theory, topology. Uh, sequences, real analysis, big data, game theory, cardinality, and group theory. So all these awesome areas of mathematics, uh, most notably probably real analysis, game theory, uh, group theory, and um, number theory and topology. Really interesting that he's added these quick introductions, and they are uh, generally a very natural continuation of the chapter. Um, so they're just really awesome. I think it's incredible he's added that in this book. It's chapter two, we've got direct proofs. So this is more about modular arithmetic and divisibility. And of course he talks about proof by cases, which is a very fundamental method of proof. This is a really cool chapter because it's quite simple uh, when it talks about um, uh, just even and odd numbers and divisibility and just directly proving different things like um, the square of an odd, of an odd number is odd and all that kind of stuff. So really good chapter. I mean, the modular, the modular arithmetic is a little bit more tricky, um, but yeah, fun. it's a really good chapter. I really enjoyed it. Uh, sets, so we move into uh, set theory, uh, more specifically, it's naive set theory. And this is a really good introduction to sets. I mean, it's not conclusive, uh, specifically if you want to learn more about sets and set theory, I'd rather recommend a book like um, uh, Paul Halmos's uh, Naive Set Theory. But at the end of the day, books like this, especially on proofs, should really motivate you, give you enough information that it motivates you to go out and read more. So good introduction to sets, really just gives you all the basics and some really fun proofs. I really did enjoy the section on sets. I've got introduction to topology. So next we've got induction. So another fundamental method of proof. Induction is quite a fun method of proof and he gives some excellent analogies as I said, once again, extremely conversational style. Um, it more feels like you're literally just conversing with someone like a friend. It's it's really fun, um, the examples he gives. Uh, strong induction, of course, and the difference between them. Um, logic, so another introduction to logic. Once again, this is a huge motivator for you to go out and learn some more formal mathematical logic. Um, even more so if you're interested, some more like applications to philosophy, like philosophical logic. Really fun chapter, thoroughly enjoyed it. Lots of humor in this book too, especially in the footnotes. Really like great humor. He's got a great sense of humor, this guy. Lots of memes too, I'll show you in a moment. Number six, the contrapositive. This follows very naturally from logic, of course, since it's a concept within logic. Um, he used, uh, uses the contrapositive to prove um, various different things. Really awesome, really great proof method. And he illustrates it extremely well. Next up, contradiction. It's another really fundamental method of proof. He talks about some really cool stuff in here, like Euclid's proof of the infinite prime numbers and the Pythagorean theorem. Functions. So this is more of an abstract sort of chapter. Concepts in here are really cool. He illustrates them extremely well. Really always just easy to follow anything in this book. Um, talks about uh, injections, surjections and bijections and invertibility. Lastly, we've got relations. So this is where he kind of completes um, the uh, your understanding of functions, that kind of stuff. And just, it's a more of an abstract sort of chapter, but still, regardless, it's a really awesome chapter. Absolutely loved it. And then he has some appendices. First of all, we've got other proof methods. Now, this is actually a really good thing to read, especially when it comes to the linear algebra method. It's, it's a really good um, appendix to make sure you read these appendices. Um, proofs in the book, these are really awesome. I absolutely love these. And of course, at the end, he's actually got some writing advice for LaTeX, which is really cool. And I actually did learn some from this when I'm writing up my LaTeX documents. So once again, extremely intuitive book, really interesting. Um, you'll trust me when I say you will thoroughly enjoy this book. Uh, if you if you even have the slightest interest in uh, mathematical proofs, I'd highly recommend you pick this book up. With, with regards to the exercises in this book. So each chapter sort of varies. This chapter's got 28 exercises. Some of them have up to 50 exercises. 
And the exercises, once again, vary. Some of the stuff is more intuitive based on the content you've done in the chapter, and some of it is a lot more difficult. At the end of every chapter, on top of an introduction to a area of mathematics, he also has an open question. Now, this is, again, an incredible additive to, I'd say, any textbook, and he has open questions relevant to the chapter you just did, and these are unsolved questions in mathematics. So it's allowing a the new generation of mathematicians to ponder a lot of really cool questions in mathematics, and it allows you to do the same. You can read through these and ponder solutions to these unsolved questions in mathematics. Here is an example of one of the memes he's added in this book. So it's um, describing your journey towards understanding functions. He's got lots of humor in this book. Really good diagrams, easy to understand. And at the end of every chapter, he also has what's called pro tips. So things that he wish he had known when he took this class um, and learned proofs. And these are actually helpful. A lot of these are actually quite helpful tips. And um, yeah, I, I think it's another awesome additive to this book. So I highly recommend this book to literally anyone that has any sort of interest in mathematics or mathematical proofs, and you have a little bit of a math background yourself, I would 100% 100, 100 recommend you pick this up. It's really cheap, it's really affordable. If you can get over the fact that the binding is horrible, hopefully he might change this in the future when he comes out with a second edition. He might be able to improve the quality of the book itself. But as regards to the content, it is some of the best content. So 100% recommend this book and thank you for watching this video.